So hi, this is uh, Stuart Mackay here again. This is a uh, short video showing a uh, 2.4 conversion to a craft sport series, probably late 70s, early 80s vintage. Open gimbal sticks, as you can see here. Um, so I want to just show to you uh, the uh, one of the features of the, uh, the the new types of encoder we've developed. Uh, my kitchen has developed the software I should say and I've been uh, doing some uh, testing work with him on it and this is a uh, to show you basically how the throttle lock works a soft throttle lock so if I just power it up you'll see we should get some uh, we've got some control now so you can see the ailerons and elevator moving but I can't move the throttle server this is the throttle server okay it's not moving I've got because I've switched it on at high throttle. So if I bring the throttle stick back, it should now start moving, which it does. So it's a safety feature which is incorporated. So if you're flying this with electric models, then it's the motor's not suddenly going to start up if you accidentally leave the throttle high at uh, uh, when you power up. So that's uh, one of the great things about this new uh, encoder. The other things are we've got. Um, differential on this. this is our F3A encoder designed for aerobatic uh, use. Uh, we've got two aileron servos, you can see them both moving there. At the moment I've got it on low rates and I just flick this switch here you'll see the, they'll go to high rates. I've got 30% differential, can you just see this left hand servo is moving a bit more than the, this one so that will give you and the same vice versa on this when we move the stick the other way. That will give us aileron differential that we want so we're more up than uh, down to counteract any adverse yaw and make the rolling manoeuvres smoother and uh, less pitchy when you are flying a, a roll. So we've got the elevator's the same, we've got that and again I can just flick the switch and that will then go into expo mode and I can adjust the amount of exponential by means of these potentiometers on the top here. And they also adjust the, um, the dual rate position so I can increase or decrease just by turning that pot. So we're on maximum throw there and we're on maximum uh, exponential there as well. So if I flick that across you should just see the centre change. There we go, I can reduce it there. Sorry, we're going anti-clockwise, reducing the throw that actually uh, makes it softer to fly around the neutral. So we've got that. We've also got the throttle as I said earlier. Let me just show you, press this button now. This is a, you hear it beep once, that is a minute minder, so in a minute's time that should start beeping at me. So, rudder, and then we've got an auxiliary control here, this one, which is operated on the top there. And then we have a switched uh, channel there on the end there. This other servo is not um, plugged in, this is uh, effectively a six channel radio, it started off as a five channel. And I've put an uh, extra switch in there too make it now a six channel. So that's what we've got. Um, just demonstrate the fail safe to you. That should, that's at full throttle, that should, turning pa power off, that should now go to low throttle. I've just realised by turning it off you've not heard the minute minor, so, but we've got low throttle. So and again we can't, the throttle server is not moving until I bring it back to its low position and then off, off we go again. And we also have a a low throttle trim there as well. So there we go. That's the. Uh, let me press this again. Let's see if we can show you that working. So that's uh, the inside of the uh, uh, the transmitter. You can see obviously the nicely made open gimbal sticks. These are all plastic, uh, um, but based on the pro line style of. Uh, gimbal arrangement for for the uh, for the elevator and aileron controls with we've got like um, and these are the trim pots there the, that's the rudder trim pot that's the throttle trim pot elevator trim pot aileron trim pot we've got another this auxiliary function up the top here that's our pot for that and you can see the the rotary knobs on the top there to control the rates and exponential and are switched in and out. This is our um, channel 7 toggle 
Um, the the uh, RF module in here is a DSM2, DSM-X compatible uh, module. So this is running a, a Spectrum system and there goes the minute minder. So I know it's a minute gone so I can press that and that will stop. And another beep and it stops. Flashing on the uh, on the uh, RF module there which is repeated up here so I can see it's switched on. That shows through the meter. Changed the uh, charging system here, put, uh, converted this to a uh, more modern JR type of um, centre pin, rather than using the old five five din uh, five pin din plugs which Kraft would have used originally. These are all the uh, servo inputs on this side. Um, power to the board is uh, coming straight off the switch. We've got a little buzzer on there which you heard earlier. Yeah, that's about it really. Oh, a little. Uh, we only need a little small LiPo, we're getting 850 uh, milliamps of capacity, that should run for I don't know, five, six hours on that. And a uh, little 2S battery, so we've saved a bit of weight. So the thing is, it's much lighter than it would have been originally, so it's very handy and it balances very well in the hand. And here's the top of the, press that again to stop that. That's the uh, top of the transmitter there, which you can see, these are the... The, this is the elevator rates and trim rates and expo aileron rates and expo here you vary the amount of uh, throw and expo by by um, turning these to the right position it's got the bind button I'll put out the way on the back there so it doesn't get knocked when you're using it and uh, yeah it's, it's turned out quite well the um, the with this one the there's not a lot of space between the meter and the top of the case there so I had to be a bit creative by spacing the 2.4 gigahertz um, aerial up a bit. So, yeah, it's uh, there it is, the Craft uh, Sport Series, running an F3A module, all set for another 30, 40 years of use. Uh, this one again is going out to my friend Torane Nikolaisen in Norway, who's got a great collection of radios and aircraft, so... Hopefully he will get many, many happy hours of enjoyment with it. Turn him off. And uh, yeah, there we go. Craft Sport Series on with a F3A uh, Arduino based encoder uh, running DSM2, DSMX, 2.4 gigahertz. It should also have a fail save on this. Let me just turn it off now. It should go back to low throttle, which it does. So, if you like it, fantastic give us a like if you want to see more of these uh, videos of where i've converted old radios into uh, 21st century resto mods and please subscribe and any information or more uh, comments please put them in the comments below M uh, many thanks to mike kitchen for all of his help uh, in uh, developing the software and also to phil green for his original ideas on the encoder which we're we're now developing even further. There we go, Craft Sports Series. Thank you very much.